Hello everyone. Today I'll be sharing with you how I made a website with a website builder called WebPro. And it started when I just wanted to have a website that I can write something in it and looks more than just like a landing page. So I started on WebFlow because I thought it is easier for me to start out and then I like their way of presenting their tutorials and all the knowledge base info that they stored on their platform. So I just begin with a tutorial and then I followed up with a project that I want to build. So for this project, I enrolled in one of their free learning system on the Webflow University. And I'm currently enrolling as a student, so I also gained the resources that they gave for me to try out more functions that are available on the website. So I started to have a tutorial project on Webflow which is the 21 day portfolio so that I can follow from their tutorial to build the same portfolio. So I just began um, learning from their videos. Their videos are a great way for you to learn and they are actually quite fun when you look into it compared to boring kinds of tutorial but then I ended up still feeling like it's a bit boring for me to just follow a project from the start to an end which I need to follow step by step with the tutorial so I just started the tutorial halfway and I began to work on my own website and here's the website that I made I have been writing some articles and notes inside here which talks about the topic that I like to and so I hope if you wanted to try out to build your own website with um, a low code base to begin with then you can try out Webflow it's just one of the platform that I have been trying out and I may be trying out other website builder too like Framer or Canva yeah but overall using Webflow to build it allows you to like um, have a better knowledge to build a website just like when you are in WordPress but in Webflow it, it probably has like a more interactive back end where you can easily drag and drop or see each function with ease just because it's easier to use and its panels are easier to navigate. So you can also try out if you are planning to have a website or you want to be building a portfolio that can showcase your work or anything like that. They also have like exams that you can take then you can earn like a cert from their end so it's good to test if you are a computer student and then you want to be learning more about html css or just cms content systems or like how can you be starting a website easily with these platforms so yeah here's my experience to building with webflow for my own website currently and you can try to use your student mail if you have one to build one of these amazing sites as this is how i have been able to build one i hope you enjoy this video and can try to build your own website if you want to. Thank you for watching.